Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Where today, I'm going to do part 7 to my Let's Play of Pokemon... Well, no. Detect... Well, yeah, but no at the same time. We're going to do part 7 to my Let's Play of Detective Pikachu Returns for Nintendo Switch. Last time, guys, we got to the first case in the game. We're going to continue playing. And if we get lucky and I get enough time today, maybe we'll even do a little bit of this game as well. Uh, the chance of doing this game is kind of low. But we will maybe try if we get enough time. It is almost 1 o'clock, and I don't know whether my grandma's going to be cooking anything today or not. You know she would... Does not update this game, really? Usually she would update it. I mean, <laughs> usually she would cook today, but... Well, the thing about it is... We don't know completely, because she said she's got a little bit of work to do today. And by that, I mean, like, doing laundry and all that stuff. So there's no complete guarantee she's actually going to cook something. But even if she doesn't, or even if she do, Well, no, if she doesn't cook anything... That can determine whether or how long I do a video for. I mean, uh, no matter what, I'm gonna not. I'm gonna stop. Hopefully, before it gets to completely dark outside. But I am gonna try to make it to where I'm done doing any video by like at least. What well, really depends. If she's not cooking, then around seven o'clock. If not, then around. Or if she is, then about. 6 o'clock, 6, 6, 6, 15 or 6, 30, okay? Something like that. Let me check the time real quick. Yeah, it's almost 1 o'clock now. It'll be 1 o'clock in literally 6 minutes. So, yeah. But, anyway, guys, like I said, last time we did a little bit, we did our first case in Detective Pikachu Returns. So now we're going to have fun and do the next one. So, yeah. We're gonna get, we're gonna load our game, and we're gonna go ahead and continue this one. Tim and Pikachu successfully apprehended one of the culprits of the jewel thief case. That evening, they returned to Tim's home with Rachel to hear more about her problem. We're, we're gonna continue that one and see what we can do now, because I think we're about to get our second case pretty soon. So yeah, we're gonna talk to everyone. Let's talk to her first. Yeah. Rachel's not your girlfriend? No, just a classmate. She came by and talked to me about something. Something like how she's your girlfriend? Sophia, she is not my girlfriend. Atta girl, Sophia. Tim just needs a gentle shove to get things moving. Don't you start too, Pikachu. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Right. You really don't need to worry about it, Tim. Huh? Worry about what? Bringing Rachel home, of course. Uh, Mom? I think you might be misunderstanding something. I'm making enough food for eight people or so. So she can eat as much as she likes. Oh, you're talking about dinner. Wait. Eight people? Isn't that a bit much? Wait. Urgh, I'm exhausted. I just can't seem to muster any energy lately. Oh, that's a lady you talk to you on here. You know, I wonder how Harry met Irene. Do you know anything, Tim? I'm just curious, guy. We're gonna check him out and everything, see what he says about everything. With a mom like Irene, no wonder Sophia's so responsible. Boy, I sure wish somebody would bring me some coffee. <laughs> coffee. Let's do one more. What the? A light roast today, huh? Oh yeah, it's got a nice acidic kick to it. That's hilarious. Okay, let me check out everything again. How was the Joe stolen? Right, okay. What about Wild was it again? 
We helped her while we could, okay. Good. <laughs> These are the medals we received. They're proof of all the good we've done with our great detective work. Let's keep it up, Tim. Just making sure I'm talking. I want to make sure I'm exploring everything and talking to everybody. Okay, so I have to talk to her. Wait. Sheesh. Hey! Where are you going? The gang's all here! Transport everything, Pikachu. Yes. It must be nice spending time with your mother and sister. It is, yeah. Wait. Oh, I think we're about to find out, guys, whether the food's gonna be cooked or not. Somebody just texted me. Hold on, real quick. All right, I'll text my mom about it. Hold on, guys. Mamaw's cooking the chicken and dumplings. Mamaw's. She's cooking the chicken and dumplings. Exclamation point. She needs the big ball with the red lid. Big ball, oh my gosh. Ball! Oh my gosh, I don't want to waste time! Oh my gosh. With, with the red lid. Win. Done. Sorry about that, guys. So she is cooking the chicken and dumplings. Let me continue what I was saying, guys. It is, yeah. But hey, didn't you want to discuss something? Oh. Um. Yeah. Sorry. It must feel awkward to talk about it around so many people. No, it's not that. Chatting with you and your family has actually helped a lot. Trust me, it can wait. Really? Well, if you're sure. Right. Okay. Uh-oh. Dinner's ready, everyone. Well, I should probably get going. Come now, why don't you stay and eat with us? Yeah, that's a great idea. Well, you heard them. What do you say? I mean, who could turn down an invitation like that? Yay! Eat up, everyone. I really outdid myself this time. Wow! Looks amazing! Thank you, Mom! Mom made her special mac and cheese for us. So this is the dish that Harry kept raving about, huh? <laughs> Oh. oh, this is incredible! Good, huh? Mm. <laughs> what just happened? Pikachu? Tim and Sophia for me. Where is this coming from? I'm sorry. Harry, there must be some reason. I'm sorry, Irene. Harry. What the freak was that? They could choose me. Are you okay, Pikachu? 
You had me worried suddenly fainting like that. Uh, I fainted? Yes. Oh, thank goodness. It looks like Pikachu's recovered. What the freak just happened to him? What is this mu- I, I don't know. Yeah, I think he's okay now. So, Rachel, do you feel okay talking about that problem you had now? No, that's okay. Are you sure? You don't have to keep it balled up. Yeah, it's actually a good idea to get rid of the problems. That's something that I've kind of learned myself. As angry as I get when making videos for YouTube sometimes, it is good to not um, stress yourself out by keeping it balled up inside. It's good to release your anger in some way. That way it won't explode into a volcano like I sometimes make mine do. I had so much fun with you all that, it, all that it's just not bothering me anymore. We'll discuss it next time, okay? Sure. In that case, mind if I ask you something instead? By all means, I'd be honored to help a great detective. Do you happen to know anyone who knows a lot about jewels? Apparently the jewel that was stolen in today's case was recently really special. I could use some more information to help me track it down. Hmm. Well, one of my professors is a specialist in mineral archaeology. I can introduce you to him if you like. Really? Could you please? That would be a huge help. Sure, I'll see I'll sort it out when I get home tonight. How should I contact you? Why don't we meet at the Hi Hat Cafe tomorrow morning? Sounds good. See you then. Hey, feeling better? Yeah. I guess. Pikachu. Huh? What's that? <gasps> you you too. too! There is something the two of you must know. When I was in my cave a few days ago, I was attacked by several Pokémon. Yeah, we saw on the news. No matter how many times I overpowered them, they didn't seem to feel a thing. Maybe R again? No. These Pokémon had no will of their own, as if something was controlled. As for Harry... Harry? <gasps> oh! Like the one we saw in Cramorant. You think the two are related somehow? I'd say, almost certainly. Finding the Aurora Drop may be the key to solving this mystery. Yeah, let's follow up on that. <laughs> what the frick? The Cramorant that stole the Aurora Drop. The swarm of Beedrill that attacked Mewtwo. They both had glowing devices stuck to them. After hearing Mewtwo say my dad's name, I think if I investigate the Aurora Drop, that I might get closer to finding him. I swear to freak, if I find out one of my most favorite Pokemon is getting controlled, especially if it's a total Croconar for Alligator, I will be so freaking mad. The game is very old now, guys. Not this one, but the first, the, the original Detective Pikachu for 3DS. Well, I, I can't, I, I, I don't know, I, let me say it this way, guys. The game is so old that me spoiling it probably wouldn't be a big deal. Let me say that in that game, there was, uh, I ain't gonna say much, I'm just gonna say this. One of the Pokemon that got controlled by the thing in that game. By the way, they might keep mentioning it here. Do you, do you notice how they're talking about something called R? Yeah. One of the point out that was getting controlled by that was a Charizard. Which, at the time of playing Detective Pikachu, was my favorite Pokemon. 
If I see a Toadal Crocodile Fragger especially get hurt from this, I'm gonna be so upset. And I mean that. Man. The next morning. Hey. Okay. Today we're going to find out more about the Aurora Drop, right? Yeah, Rachel said she introduced me to a professor from Rhine University. We still got a little time before we're supposed to meet her at the Hi Hat Cafe, though. Your family doesn't visit that often. Why don't you chat with them a bit before we head out? Yeah, I know, Pikachu. I'm gonna chat with Pikachu first. Irene's mac and cheese sure was delicious. I wonder when she'll make it again. Boy, I sure wish somebody would bring me some coffee. <laughs> I love how he's so... Ad <sighs> yeah, I don't think anything else is going to be different now. A light roast today, huh? Oh yeah, it's got a nice acidic kick to it. I'll do one more. Harry's a pretty lucky guy to have Sophia and Irene by his side, huh? Yep. Just trying to make sure there ain't nothing we're missing. With the mail thing in there. <laughs> yep. Just making sure. Hey, mother. Oh. oh! I see the newspapers arrived! You subscribe to a newspaper, Tim? Yeah, it's Rob C's Daily Paper. You never used to read the paper when you lived at home. What changed? Well, I'm a college student now. I thought I should read the newspaper at least. Well, aren't you mature? What are you do what are you doing, Tim? Trying to look cool or something? I'm the one who suggested that you start getting the newspaper, you know? As a detective, it's important to be gathering information at all times. I'm sure there's a lot going on every day in a city as big as this one. Checking the newspaper regularly is a good idea. Your mom knows what she's talking about, Tim! Wait, the newspaper. Tim and Pikachu's activities will be reported in the newspaper the day after a case is solved. Try reading the newspaper on the table. So, what are we waiting for? Let's read that newspaper! Oh! Okay, I want to read everything. Latest developments in jewel theft case. Hmm. Looks like they still haven't found the Aurora Drop. Inspector Holiday and his team have been searching for the Jewel and Cramorant. But there's been no progress on either front. Speaking of Cramorant, he was acting really weird then, wasn't he? According to the article, even Turner didn't know why he acted like that. So, Turner didn't order Cramorant to swallow the Jewel and escape? Hmm, something's really fishy about this whole thing. Okay, Heroic Glue Pop saves partner. The article is about a woman who got injured inside her house and couldn't move. It says her glue pup went outside and howled to alert the neighbors. Oh, that's a sweet story. I know, aww, that's a sweet story. Hey, wait, look at this photo. Isn't that the woman we met yesterday? The one whose Lee Pup ran off? Let me see. You're right! We met her in front of the dentist residence. Her Lee Pup was a pretty shy little guy who preferred quiet places. Apparently he kept barking and howling until the neighbors finally noticed. I guess he gathered up all his courage to help his beloved partner. Could Rabombi hold the secret to developing new medicines? <laughs> Apparently a n new medicine has been developed using Rabombi's pollen puffs. Makes sense. Rabombi makes lots of different kinds of pollen puffs. I hear their pollen puffs have different effects based on the flowers the nectar and pollen came from. I bet how they mix ingredients could be applied to human medicine too. I wonder what kind of pollen puffs that Rabombi was making yesterday. It might come up with something really surprising. But first, those little cutie fly need to learn how to gather nectar properly. 
Okay? Community excitement builds a soccer popularity booms. <clears throat> okay, now it's getting flipping cold. I'm gonna turn this off. It was kind of hot, now it's getting kind of cold. Looks like community soccer clubs have gotten pretty popular lately. Apparently, players can participate alongside their partner Pokemon. The article says the crowd goes wild at every match, watching the incredible power of Pokemon and their teamwork with their partners. It's getting rare re rave reviews from both players and audience members. So that's why that boy yesterday was looking for a Pokemon to play soccer with. Do you, do you think he, he and Rabu will make a good team? I'm sure they will. Didn't you see how much fun they were having practicing together? Okay, daily crossword. Mm -hmm. I wonder what today's crossword's like. It's surprisingly challenging, so I look forward to it every day. The crosswords are written by readers. Wow, I'm impressed by the people who can make these. Okay, Tim, let's fill it out. Wait, let's see. This Pokemon catches prey with its long tongue. Lickitung. That'd be Lickitung. It's got the right number of letters and everything. This Pokemon uses its cute looks to put you off your guard so it can steal from you. These are all questions from the last one. When we did the last case, we talked. This is why it's gonna talk to every Pokemon. Although they ain't making me fill in the answers, thank gosh. Uh, that'd be Purloin. Meowth? No, not enough letters. Purloin, then. This Pokemon always moves together in a well coordinated group. Oh my gosh, I know who that is. I can't remember its name. Flanx! Flanx! Hmm. Based on the squares we've already filled in, I'm guessing this has got to be Flanx. Hey, Pikachu. I feel like we've heard these hints before. <laughs> yeah, you're right. This puzzle must have been created by a certain quiz professor. Oh my gosh. Any interesting articles? Is there anything new in here? Nope, that's really it. Wait. This is an actual apple, right? Not an apple? -ing? It's just a normal apple, but it sure is hard to tell them apart. Night. Good morning, Mom. Did you sleep okay last night? Yes, just fine, thanks. You have classes today, don't you? I'm actually heading out for an important investigation this morning. Once you're on a case, it's all you can think about. Just like your father. Good grief. Oh, Mom. I don't suppose you've heard from Dad at all? I certainly would have told you if I had. Yeah, that's true. Your wife sure loves you, Harry. Must be nice. Yes? Oh. Hey, Tim. Hmm? That Pikachu, he seems kinda odd, don't you think? What do you mean? He is, isn't he? I've never seen a Pikachu that drinks coffee before. Not bad. You have a good eye for detail. Yeah? Your Pikachu is so funny! Funny? Not cute? The way Sophia reacts to stuff is a bit different from everyone else. With a mom like Irene, no wonder Sophia is so responsible. This mansion ain't missing anything. I don't think so. Let's go. Mm -hmm. We should get going. While we're out, I want to buy more coffee beans. Our supply's running low. Okay, okay. Your usual dark roast, right? Anyway, we're heading out now. Bye! Have a nice day!
Hmm. You sure we were supposed to meet Rachel in front of the High Hat Cafe? Yeah, she should be here by now. I wonder what's keeping her. Please, Papa! Just listen to me! That sounds like Rachel. <sighs> Why don't you understand, Papa? Pokemon don't need to be managed. The people who use them to commit crimes are the real problem. Rachel, no matter how many times we have this same conversation, I'm not going to change my mind. You never listen! Is everything okay? Let's just go inside. Hmm. She seems kind of upset. Of course, who am I kidding? Excuse me? What were you and your dad talking about? The Pokemon Friendship Bill. Ah, they mentioned that on the news. Said it was a bill to help Pokemon or something. I happened to read the actual text of the bill in Papa's study the other day. The one phrase that kept popping up throughout the whole thing was to monitor and manage Pokemon. It's pretty much a friendship bill in name only. I can't believe he tried to deprive Pokemon of their freedom. Papa seriously changed. So you're against your father's bill? Pokemon should be able to live freely. They don't need to be managed. Even during the R incident, Pokemon were the victims. It was cruel people who were responsible. Sorry, this isn't what we're here to discuss. This is what you wanted to talk about yesterday, isn't it? I just want someone to listen to me. I'm glad I could talk to you about it, Tim. I'm always happy to lend an ear. Are you sure you don't need any other help? Yeah, I'm fine now, really. Let's get to the real topic of the day. The Jewel. That's right. Yesterday you said you could introduce me to a professor from Ron University. Yes, Professor Gordon. He's a leading figure in the field of mineral archaeology. He researches the connections between minerals and ancient civilizations. I figured he could probably tell us something about that jewel. Right now, though, he's conducting research at the South Southern Ruins. We'll have to travel quite a ways to see him. Yeah. Those ruins are pretty far from here. Field work is a huge part of mineral archaeology. Once the professor sets out, he usually doesn't come back for several months. Sounds like we'd better go meet him there then. Yeah, who knows how long we'll be waiting if we just stay here. Okay, we'd better get going if we want to get there before sundown. Huh? You're coming too, Rachel? I mean, it's not like you could actually know Professor Gordon. I'm the one taking his class. Besides, I think it'll be fun to help a great detective out with a case. Hey, this is all fun and games, you know. Okay. The fabled Aurora. Southern Ruins. Southern Ruins. Why is there an Ursa ring? Huh? Why is it snowing? Just what's going on here? Oh, it's freezing cold. And it's just here in this specific area. See, Pasimian. Hmm. So, it's only snowing around the ruins. No way that's normal. For now, let's find a professor. He may be able to tell us something about all this. Good plan. The ones are just up this hill. We should be able to find them there. Just up the hill. Okay, let's go, Tim. Yes. The ruins are just up the hill. Beginning to them looks a little exhausting. Are you tired, Rachel? Please don't push yourself too hard. Don't worry, I'm fine. Go on ahead, I'll catch up to you soon. Bushy. Could someone grab me a tissue? Bushy, Pikachu. Great Detective Coffee Note Number 4. Filtered coffee grounds can actually neutralize odors. Try putting some in your shoe cabinet. What? 
Hey, so what do you think of Rachel anyway? Come on, spill it! <laughs> Great detective coffee note number two. The water you use can change how your coffee tastes. Alright. Oh. Hey, Tim, where are you going? We got things to do here. Oh, I did spore everything, Pikachu. Oh. So I can't go anywhere further up there. I can't talk to the Simeon either. What was that Ursa ring I saw down here? Oh, there's a charger bug and a rowet. Hi! Con contract! Bzzz. And it spans. What a strangely shaped Pokemon. Yeah, you don't see these in Rhyme City. Oh, okay. Row it. Round eyes that look round and round. <laughs> this sure is a cute Pokemon. Hello, what are you up to all the way out here? I'm a fossil collector. I travel all over the world searching for new additions to my collection. This is my partner, Zigzagoon. <laughs> Rock Smasher. He looks sad. Or, oh, he's freezing. Fossils, huh? Do you really think you'll find some here? <laughs> Do you have any idea how incredible these ruins are? There are countless fossils buried around here, just waiting to be unearthed, and I intend to do just that. Wow, evidence of an evidence of an actual ancient civilization and fossils. Sounds like the kind of place legends are born from. Furthermore, new research has confirmed that the construction of these ruins can can. Coincided with a huge meteor shower. Hundreds of meteorites are said to have fallen from the sky and landed here. Yes, here. Truly, these ruins are the stuff of legends. Well, I hope you're able to find some fossils. Thank you. Oh, um, before I forget, do you happen to know of any Pokemon that are capable of breaking this boulder? There's something behind it. I can feel it in my bones. It might even be a fossil. My zigzagoon usually helps me with this sort of thing, but the little fella's poor paws are frozen numb. We don't want to have trudged all the way out here for our fossil excavation just to be stopped by some nippy weather, you know. Yeah, I wish there was something we could do. Me too, but it's not like either of us can bust a big boulder like that. We could just find a Pokemon strong enough to break rocks. Talk to the Pokemon? No, I can't. Leave Annie. Oh, she has a task for us. Leave Taylor. Okay. Leave Van. <laughs> it's a Leave Vanny. It looks kind of anxious. Do you think there's something wrong? Hey, Leave Vanny. Did something bad happen? I see. It's worried because some Swaddle would still have not come home. Well, Vanny's gone looking for him a while already and can't find him anywhere. With how cold it is here, I can see why Well, Vanny's worried. We find a Swaddle and let's tell him to come home. Good idea. Apparently there are two Swaddle and missing. Two of them. Got it. Okay, we Vanny. Leave the Swaddle in us. Nah, don't worry about it. We can look for him while we're conducting our other investigations. It wants us to deliver these clothes to the Sawatoe when we find them because they're probably shivering in this cold. These are clothes for Sawatoe? Yeah, we Vanny can use their sticky silk to weave clothes out of leaves. Okay, got it, Levanny. 
We'll search for those Sawadoan and deliver those close to them too. So you just sit tight and stop worrying. Alright. Deliver the leaf close to Sawadoan. Levaney's worried about the Sawadoan that went off the play in this cold weather. Deliver the leaf close that Levaney made for him. Okay. Guys. Okay, hold on. Guys, I'll real quick be right back. I'll see you for episode 8.